Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, lovely, fantastic day. Uh, yeah, about five minutes ago I just got done unbagging three different Ipsy bags and now I'm about to unbox another. I might have a problem. But this one I am super excited about. Today we're going to be getting into the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of January. This will be the second time I'm unboxing an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and I am very excited to see what is inside. Now this is different from the regular Ipsy in several ways. One, it comes in a box. I almost just whacked myself in the head with that. Two, it costs about double the price plus a little bit more <laughs> than your regular Ipsy bag. This box is $25 a month and I do believe this is a month monthly subscription. And now when you are, this is confusing. So now in order to get this, you can either upgrade your previous subscription and basically cancel your $10 Ipsy and receive this instead, or you can keep both of them and pay for both of them. I was on a waiting list for this box for quite some time, but now I am off the waiting list and I'm very excited to get into yet another one of these. Now everything in here is supposed to be full size and it's supposed to come with like some number value guaranteed. I think it's like, $120 or something like that. So inside here, this should be like five full-size beauty products and I'm really excited to see what they sent this month. You're greeted with this shockingly blue foam when you first open it up. And then on top, we have a little pamphlet here that'll tell us all the products inside. I don't wanna flip through this just yet, not to ruin any surprises. This should also tell us the value of the products as well so we can calculate the value of the box. Oh, okay, so just opening up the lid here, I'm seeing some very interesting things. The first thing that's drawing my eye is this thing wrapped up and bubble wrap. I don't know if it's my strange obsession with bubble wrap or the little bottle itself that's drawing me to it, but either way, it looks like we have a per- I'm not 100% sure what that face looked like that I just made, but I guarantee you it, it doesn't look very good. Anyway, what we have here is a perfume and oh look at that! There's a little skull in the background that is perfect for my channel. As you guys know, I do like my skulls, like a little guy right back here. But this is a perfume from Tokyo Milk in the scent Dead. Oh, dead sexy, <laughs> not just dead. Uh, anyway, this is supposed to have a deep vanilla, exotic wood, white orchid, and ebony smell to it. And I don't think I've ever owned anything from Tokyo Milk before, so I'm pretty excited about this. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little spritz and a sniff. That's a whole lot of spritz coming out. Ooh, I like this, it's, <laughs> don't nail it. Anyway, I like the scent of it. It's very almost like aroma therapy-esque. It has a very deep, rich scent to it, a lot of vanilla, and you can smell kind of that like woodsy scent in it. I really like it, and I definitely think it could be like a unisex perfume. If I sniffed anybody wearing this, I would think they smell pretty good, so I like this. All right, so first little item down, and I actually kind of like that it's a little bit different. It's not something that we standardly see in beauty boxes and subscription boxes, so I'm excited. Alrighty, next up here, we have something from Ofra, and this is the Ofra highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive, which is one of my absolute favorite over highlighters. So here it is. It is nice and beautiful and shimmery and kind of golden. And for me, a person who's like, you know, get decently pale, pretty darn pale. This is gold, but it's not like too gold. I do already have makeup on, but anything in here that I'm going to try on, I'm just going to put on top of the makeup I'm already wearing. It's pretty late at night. I don't think I'm going anywhere. <laughs> Plus it's going to be, oh, I don't know, four degrees outside tonight. So I don't think I'm going to be exiting my home. But there is the highlight on. I don't know. I just think it's really, really pretty. I probably wouldn't put on like too too much if you are really pale because it does come off a bit yellowy but I just think it's a very pretty highlight and it is one of my favorites so this I'm excited about I think I was getting low on my other Rodeo Drive highlight so I'm really excited to get that okie dokie next up here we have something from Vasanti and this is the matte crush lipstick pencil and on the top here it says extra love pencil sharpener included I got mine in the shade it's your mauve lovely pun there and this is supposed to be smudge proof creamy with a matte finish so your lips won't dry out and long lasting and waterproof. So that sounds pretty nice. So here we have the little pencil. <laughs> nice pop. And I really, really like this color. It's a very pretty mauve. It actually looks super similar to this cami I'm wearing. Like, very similar. So if I get it all over myself, it'll just blend right in. Then we also have the Visanti pencil sharpener with the very large hole there. So the chubby little pencil will fit into it. I have like 47 bags of makeup wipes now. And I still like to wipe it on the back of my hand. Anyway, so I'll just go ahead and test this out. Ooh, I really like this color. Mm. 
It's going on super duper creamy, very, very smooth. I couldn't draw a straight line under my lip to save my life. All right, so there it is on. I think it's really, really nice. Very, very pigmented, super, super smooth going on. I really like the idea that it's supposed to be waterproof and smudge proof and all that kind of stuff because typically crayons like this that do feel really creamy end up just like all over my face. But this one I'm quite excited for. It might be a little bit on the pinker side than I typically go with my lip colors, but I like it. Alrighty, next up here we have something from Hey Honey, which is a really, really nice brand. They have this one thing, it's like a Hey Honey peel peel your face, something mask, and it's really, really good, and I haven't tried too many things from this brand, but this one is the Good Morning Honey Silk Face Serum that is supposed to be all day nourishing for flawless skin, and as I have mentioned in my last couple of videos, I have been getting into skincare a little bit more, like I said, getting close to 30. It's time to do it. Actually, it probably was time to do it like five years ago, but Better late than never, I suppose. So here is the outer packaging. This is a full size. Ooh, that looks very nice. So here is the packaging of the actual product and it is a serum. I've really been enjoying serums recently. Oh, it says this light and luxurious serum and makeup primer replenishes and protects your skin. So you're ready to take on the day. Rich moisturizers and nutrients such as honey, silk amino acids, sea buckthorn oil, vitamin E provide intense moisture and radiantly smooth skin. Ooh, okay. This, I'm very, very interested in. I have a new love for skincare that's literally occurred within the past, oh, it's yellow, within the past like three days. So this, I'm definitely gonna have to work into it. Oh, it actually smells really, really nice. It has a very thin, smooth consistency and I feel like it's gonna absorb into the skin really, really beautifully. So I don't know what that was. Okay, next up here is something that I have wished I had taken out of the box just a little bit earlier. This is a Hanalei Sugar Lip Scrub, which I would have loved to have tested out before I put this on, but that is okay. So I've received several things from this brand, but they are typically all the exact same thing. It's like a little tube of lip treatment. I've never tried out their Sugar Lip Scrub before, so I'm hoping it's really nice. I have just bad lips. They're just dry. <laughs> just so dry. And I don't know if it's because I do wear like a lot of matte liquid lipsticks or if it's just because my water intake is severely lacking, which is something else I need to work on. Not too- oh, I touched it. Not too much of a crazy scent to it. It's just very, very light. Oh, Oh, I take that back. Once it's actually out of its little container, it smells really, really good. So what needs exfoliating? This knuckle. I don't know where else to put it. Ooh, that's really, really scrubby. Sometimes I get lip scrubs and they don't feel like rough enough. And for me, if I can't feel a product like scraping my skin off, I just assume it's not working. Oh, it's very nicely exfoliating away all these old uh, swatches. Well, the back of my hand feels really, really soft. So I'm sure it will do the same for my lips. Oh, okay. And the very last thing in here is the Violet Voss HG Fun Sized Eyeshadow Palette. And um, we just got the Violet Voss HG, which is the Holy Grail Palette, in the boxy, well, boxy luxe. There we go. And it's a really pretty palette. There are a lot of nice, kind of like warm, neutrally tones to it, which are my absolute favorite. But since this one, I do believe, is that palette just small, I probably won't be using it. I, I especially won't be using it because I literally can't get into the cardboard box. I just want to see the inside packaging. So here is the palette. It does have a cute little like magnetic, oops, magnetic closure to it, which is pretty strong. And you know what? I said that the Holy Grail palette, like the full size, very much reminded me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And looking at this one, it really reminds me of the Modern Renaissance palette just by the way it's laid out. Okay, well that's bizarre. Uh, yeah, I just set the palette down for like a second to go grab the full-size Holy Grail palette and now it's missing. I have my glasses on, the desk isn't that messy, and I literally cannot find it. <laughs> but anyway, here is the full-size Holy Grail palette. So the fun-size version is just a smaller one of this. It looks like we have some of the more like fun oranges and like, what color is this? I have not swatched or tried out this palette either because this is something I'm probably going to be giving away as well because I do own a lot of other palettes with these types of shades in them, so I didn't want to waste another palette. Yeah, I just think it's kind of interesting that we got this one in the Boxy Charm and the other one in the Ipsy Box. I'm guessing Violet Boss partnered with both of them and since the Boxy Charm one is like twice the price of the Ipsy bag, they got the big kahuna and then Ipsy got the small version. All right, you guys, I'm really sorry if you can hear the rain like pouring down in the background. It's supposed to flash flood and then flash freeze. I live in Kentucky. The weather is a mystery here. The other day it was 60. Now we're gonna have like an ice storm. I don't know. Anyway, let's really quickly read through the prices of these items 
items here. All of these are full size, so the price that it says inside the little pamphlet should be the price that it actually is. All right, so first we have the Hanalei Sugar Scrub, which is supposed to be $25 for this little guy. That is a pretty good value, and that also covers the entire value of the box. Then we have the Visanti Matte Crush Lipstick Pencil, and it's your mauve, which is supposed to be an all-day wearing pencil, and it is valued at $23. I'm gonna do a little kiss test really fast just to see how much this doesn't like move. Okay, I was expecting a little bit different results, but it does come off. I guess maybe if you don't kiss the back of your hand a lot, your lipstick will be fine. <laughs> then we have the Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum, which is $45 for this. And then you gotta flip it around. It's like a road map, very, very confusing. Next up we have the Ofra Cosmetics Rodea Drive Highlighter, which is $35. <laughs> then the Tokyo Milk Dead Sexy Et De Parfum, which is $36. And then finally we have the Violet Boss Mini HG Eyeshadow Palette, which is missing, um, which is valued at $18. So to me, that seems like a pretty great value. Let me grab the little calculator -y thingy my bob and uh, we can begin to do some calculations. I'm sure you're thinking, why don't you just do the math in your head, but... Alright you guys, so the total value for my box was $182, which I think is actually pretty fantastic for a $25 box. Everything in here is full size, and to me at least, I think most of it is very, very usable. If I didn't already have a bojillion palettes, then I think that the eyeshadow palette would be really fantastic. I think the highlighter is definitely usable for a lot of people, so is like the Hey Honey product. I think the lipstick would look really good on a lot of skin tones. The perfume might not be for everybody, but I feel like it really could reach a large range of people as long as you're into those kind of like deep woodsy scents. So overall for me personally, I'm actually really happy with this box, but I would love to know what you guys think. Do you think it is worth the upgrade in price, the $25 value? Do you not? Did you like the products that came in this month's box? Do you not? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. I love reading them. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys today. So just thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you don't mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have a wonderful, lovely, fantastic day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye! Oh my gosh, it was in the box.